Well, happy summer, everybody. It's officially yeah. late season here in Ringwood. And, oh, fantastic. Uh, weather's getting warmer. Yeah, absolutely it's beautiful weather. Living on lake time. <laughs> Think about it. That's why most of us, in some way, shape, or form, moved here, lived here, stay here, whatever it is. We love our lakes. Yeah, it's a huge part of Ringwood. I mean, whether we live somewhere where we can go to a lake that's part of our community, or we drop a boat inside of Monksville Dam and, uh, you, you know, or before, uh, not don't drop it in the dam. That's a totally <laughs> different uh, thing altogether there. Uh, but no, I mean, that's why we love Ringwood. You know, we stay here, we live it, and it's summertime. And it is time for us to get into our lakes. And I think one of the things that on this show we've talked about, you know, uh, we talk about things that sometimes, you know, divide us. Lakes unite us simply Absolutely. because that's where we live. That's where we recreate. That's where we go to have fun. Right. And I mean, at the end of the day, Ringwood is a land of lakes. And three of those lakes, Cupsaw, Erskine, and Skyline, all have their own respective communities built around them. So these lakes all have their, their clubhouses. And they're all among the spaces in town where you get to see people from different sides of the political aisle hanging out, having a drink, laughing, having their kids play together. And generally just enjoying Ringwood for what it is and for what it's supposed to be. And that's a community in the midst of beautiful nature. So we wanted to record a quick episode at the start of the summer season to celebrate our lake communities and also to encourage our listeners to get involved in the local lake communities. They're always looking for volunteers for committees, board positions, and to run certain activities. Uh, snack bars, uh, kids, you know, uh, swim meets, things like that. It's great to... Great to get involved and great to help out your local lake community. Right. I mean, we all, you know, we all come together. We all enjoy them. But it takes a community to make that community happen. And if it's if it's something you've thought of, it's something you haven't thought of, like, you know, I love coming here, but I want to do something or you just realize, you know, I reach out to the folks that run the lakes in our town and find out what you can do to be part of that. Because, again, we're coming together. It's a great opportunity for you to show that you're also helping everybody come mm -hmm. together. And the lakes are only going to be as strong and enjoyable as the community members who are willing to put in the time and the effort to make them that way. So we need, we need the volunteers. We need the people willing to continue to make these thriving environments for everyone in our town. Right. And we and, and for anybody who does belong to one of the lakes in town, of course, there's also the annual fees and dues that go along with that. And that money that we put into it is something that um, contributes to the upkeep of the lake, the clubhouses, the activities, you know, all of those different things that we all come to enjoy every single summer. But along with that, there's one aspect here, which I think is worth a bit of a conversation, which is the fact that, you know, with our town that contains all of these lakes, we're not doing right by all of our lake communities. I mean, you know, even at a recent council meeting, there was negative discussion about how the town is having to clean out drains, you know, all around Ringwood. And with that initiative being called a, quote, unfunded mandate by the state, it this is an issue that directly affects the very health and safety of our lakes. Yeah, it seems pretty silly that in a town that uses the lakes as a selling point mm -hmm. and, you know, talks about how great they are, that the town doesn't want to do the bare minimum to make sure that those lakes are properly maintained. Right. I mean, cleaning out drains seems like a pretty important thing in a lake community to have that happen on a regular basis. Right. And, and, now, and here's the funny thing about that. The borough of Ringwood has not applied for the lake management grants that are available in New Jersey, which would actually provide us and each lake in town with not just the funds that we would need to manage issues like runoff pollution and stormwater, but also the experts that can give us the advice on how to keep our lakes as clean as possible. So like we could do proactive efforts to try and prevent problems before they happen, right? Right. And this whole idea of it, of it, it doesn't make sense when there's money out there that we as a community could be taking advantage of. And with an especially warm winter when the lakes did not fully freeze, our lakes may require additional TLC this summer in addition to the regular issues like algae blooms, the safety of the swimmers, and the cleanliness of the properties. And so to not apply for these grants seems like a purposeful decision that hurts a huge part of our town population. Right. I mean, the lack of grants that are applied for by our current borough management is, to me, an issue in a number of areas. But when people think of Ringwood, one of the first things that is thought of is our lakes. 
it's not so much a burden, it's an investment. And when you can get investment dollars by applying for grants, which would offset the cost of that, why aren't we doing that? It seems like a no-brainer. Seems like a no-brainer. Think about how much the value of homes in this town has gone up because of the lakes and how much the town benefits from the property taxes that it collects because of the lakes. To not invest in those lakes is really talking out of both sides of your mouths. In addition, Ringwood does not have a septic pumping mandate, unlike our neighbors in West Milford. West Milford recently introduced a pumping mandate, and what that has done is a couple of things. Number one, it ensures that its water is safe, and West Milford has a fair amount of water in town, as Ringwood does. And so the pumping mandate lets it, lets the town know that the water is not being impacted by people not caring for their septic systems. That's number one. But number two, if people don't get their septic pumped, they will be fined, and the town can then use that money for other things that need to be done in town, whether it's lake-related, septic-related or not. Ringwood is missing out on an opportunity to have a, an income source from these fines that would also protect its water, but we're not doing that either. Yeah, and that's, you know, so you know, as we're getting into lake season, as we're getting in the water, as we're swimming, going down the slides, ELAC is going to be, you know, great this year. Go ELAC. Go ahead and, you know, make those swim meets happen. I mean, all these amazing things that we get into, think about how much better the quality of the water could be, how much less of a burden on the town the cost could be to maintain all of these lakes if the town would simply apply for grants and look at our lakes as an investment and not a burden because it's an unfunded mandate to have to keep things clean. That just doesn't make sense. 